Today we're going to be recapping the results of the fourth week of NCAA wrestling. Let's go right into the video. First off, in this week, we're going to be talking about the top 10 duels uh, that went down. We have the results here on the right or the left, somewhere there. But a uh, big one, Iowa versus Minnesota. This was the duel of the week for sure. Um, and Iowa really delivered, showing everybody why they're the uh, number one team in the NCAA by far. Minnesota, they're a pretty good team. They're top 10 and only had one win. Um, that came from number one ranked Gable Stevenson. All the other matches went to Iowa, which is pretty crazy. Props to them, but really showing why they are number one ranked. Um, in other words, we had some pretty good duels in Illinois versus Purdue. Illinois took the win there. Wisconsin also ended up upsetting Purdue. Ohio State had a nice win over Rutgers, and then Nebraska had a dominating win over Northwestern. So after this week, these are our updated rankings. Of course, Iowa at top uh, by far. They're probably the big favorite to win the NCAA title, almost like guaranteed at this point, unless Penn State has some crazy breakout freshman wrestlers. But uh, at number two, we got a tie between Michigan and Penn State, mainly because we haven't seen uh, Penn State wrestle in a while. They were supposed to wrestle this weekend. Uh, couldn't do that, but NC State also up there in the top five. Uh, Missouri finally climbing up, a uh, pretty underrated team. Um, and then Illinois rounding out the top 10 uh, after the fourth week of NCAA wrestling. All right, now we're gonna be talking about the 10 biggest upsets in each of the weight classes uh, for week four. Starting off at 125, which has become like a huge upset weight class um, the past few weeks. Uh, started off with last week, Rayvon Foley, the number two guy from Michigan State, ended up getting upset. And now this week, Eric Barnett from Wisconsin ended up pinning the number three guy, uh, Devin Schroeder of Purdue. Pretty crazy move. Uh, he was down 2-0 on bottom, hit like a roll, um, got Schroeder in like a headlock and ended up getting the fall from there. Uh, so he had some big, um, big move movement in the rankings at 125 pounds. Um, there's a good offset at 141 as well. Um, and then at 197, uh, probably the second biggest upset of the week, Isaac Trumbull, unranked guy from NC State, ended up getting a 6-1 decision win over Nino Bonacari of Pittsburgh, uh, number six ranked guy in the nation at the time. So yeah, some pretty big upsets this week, uh, but no notable ones in the 141 and 149 weight class. Our big takeaways for this week, um, the first one isn't really like a takeaway, it's more of like a headline, um, and that's Penn State hasn't wrestled this whole entire season. I think they're the only team who haven't wrestled in this whole season. It's been three weeks for Big Ten schools, four weeks for everybody else. And we've seen every single school at least get one duel, one quad, one try in. But Penn State, we've seen none of their wrestlers wrestle. We haven't seen Aaron Brooks. We haven't seen Robin Bravo Young. Um, and mostly due to like COVID cases, due to their staff, and I think a few of the wrestlers. Um, so really hoping to see them wrestle in the week five. But it's really all up in the air now, especially with all the COVID cases going around at Penn State. Secondly, like I said before, Iowa is the team to beat this season. I've just been steamrolling through all their opponents, through Nebraska, through Minnesota, and probably through anyone they're going to face this year um, at the NCAAs. They're probably going to win as well. They have the best team by far, unless Penn State has some crazy freshmen that we don't know about, like I said. Um, they have every single wrestler in every single weight class in the top 10, which is pretty crazy. I don't think a team's ever had that before. Um, so yeah, definitely going to be the team to be, and I'll be watching all those Iowa duels. Um, pretty entertaining to watch and good to see a lot of potential national champions in wrestlers like Austin Asanto, Spencer Lee, uh, those guys. So yeah, I would definitely tune into that. Third takeaway is this is not going to be a typical season like we know it. We've got teams not competing uh, like Penn State and we've got wrestlers who are just not, we haven't seen them uh, wrestle really. We haven't seen wrestlers like Nick Suriano, we haven't seen wrestlers like Stevan Micic and it's just not going to be a typical season that we all love to watch. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be pretty different. Maybe we're going to see some changes at the end of the tournaments. Maybe the last wrestlers in each weight class instead of 17, it could go down to 12, I heard. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty crazy season, um, but just got to stay tuned um, and see how it goes. Yeah, it's going to wrap up our video today talking about the recap of the fourth week of NCAA wrestling. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more wrestling content like this. Peace.